Unlike full-time employees, self-employed like taxi drivers, when we attend courses to upgrade our skills, we face many hurdles, like having to pay our own course fees. But more importantly, we continue to incur rental and loss out on our income. Can the relevant department or authorities explore at how they could tweak existing schemes which is largely catered to full-time and company sponsor employees? I think we, can look, we are looking at that according to Minister for Manpower. We, we will look at that. Our schemes are designed to work through the companies, through the employers, because we wanted to make sure that the employer takes ownership and after you go to the course, you come back, you got a job which is useful and not just go for a course and then come back and then you frame up the degree and then you've forgotten already. But uh, taxi drivers and others like you will have some difficulty and we will see what we can do. Thank you for extending the driving age of taxi driver to 73 years a few years ago. Today, many of these drivers are still fit and healthy. The government is also encouraging Singaporeans to continue working. Right? Uh, we have put for our request to the relevant authority to consider extending the driver's age to 75 years. We hope you can assist us by endorsing uh, <laughs> this proposal and a few hundred drivers who are currently near the age of 73 years, 73 years, will greatly appreciate. I sympathize and I will tell MOT that I sympathize. <laughs> but I will have to leave to them to make a judgment and a recommendation. But I think in principle, it's the right thing to do. You should keep working as long as you're fit. But if you can't quite see, your response is a bit slow, very long day to sit in the taxi, then at some point you, you have to change. Huh?